So this is the all new 2018 BMW 550i. This is a 456 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque strong twin turbo V8. That's 100 horsepower less than the current M5. And still, it's the fastest 5 series that you can currently buy. Let's take a closer look at the 2018 BMW M550i. All right, so we're going to start the video by driving it right away. All right, so we're finally out on a uh, road here where traffic has died off a little bit. Let's see what it feels like. <laughs> Jesus, wow, dude, that was 95 miles an hour. This thing is so quick. It is BMW's X Drive, but the, five, the M550i only comes in uh, X Drive. So I didn't say it in the beginning, but the grip when you hit the throttle in this car is just amazing. And I know we're up to speeds here. It's not like it was gonna, you know, burn out on rear tires, but it's it's just amazing. This thing sits on the road. Wow, it's fine. Okay, it's giving me a speed warning here, so we're not gonna talk about that speed, but this thing is fast. Now it's been a few years since I've driven a performance-based BMW, but the one thing that I always notice as soon as I step into one, it's just driver-centered, driver-focused. This car, the steering is tight. It is such an amazing vehicle to drive. I don't even know if I'm gonna do justice in this review because this thing is so advanced, especially when it comes to technology. But you guys know me, I mean, I wanna experience cars in the way that they drive. And that's what we're going to do today, to the best of my ability at least. So the transmission in this car is a CF8 speed. I'm going to shift down here. And it shifts quick. It is fast. So I currently have it in manual mode. Obviously you can choose to use just automatic mode, which is also very, very aggressive in its shifts. BMW uses a lot of uh, engine noise coming out of the speakers. It doesn't sound bad, but you can tell that it is sort of fake. do here on this fun little stretch is to try out the launch control. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I told you, man. It's not believable. It's, it keep thinking about how big and heavy this car. This is not a light car. This is a heavy wow. ass car. Yeah, but it's that initial it's grip just, from launch. Just, That's it's stupid. The, it's the X drive. It's just that like I recognize the power in my car when you're up to and it finally gets traction but it's not I mean it can't compare to this car from like a standstill because yeah. this gets traction you, you like just, this you felt, how, when was the last time you felt that kind of push into the seat I mean that is just stupid <laughs> left foot down on the brake all the way smash the gas pedal system is just amazing there is no wonder that this is the fastest 5 series BMW you can buy right now there is no wonder that this beats the current M5 a rear wheel drive car can't get that grip it's impossible I mean I can't even imagine how the new M5 is gonna feel like with 600 horsepower what do you guys think it sounds like Does it sound okay or Oh. 
BMW the driver's car. So forget what I said about the sound. From outside of the car, it sounds absolutely amazing. What a beast. All right, so what we're gonna do now is a quick walk around, around this Alpine White M550i. All right, so the owner of this car, my buddy Rudy, this is his eighth Alpine White BMW and I understand why he picks the color it's a beautiful white color especially with the wheels that he picked as well they're 20 inch sitting on 275 30 Goodyear tires in the rear and then it's 245 35 20 inch tires up front and I love the design of these wheels you can definitely tell that it's a typical BMW wheel so we come up front here, we have full adaptive LED headlights. And I'm sure you guys can hear uh, the fans inside the engine bay here. We've been pushing the car pretty hard. But I do love the front of this BMW 550. And then as we move down here, see this sensor here is for the adaptive cruise control and some of the autonomous features that's on this BMW as well. The carbon fiber side mirrors. The carbon fiber lip spoiler here. And then we'll pop the trunk by kicking. And it's pretty spacious in here. You can pull the rear seats down by pulling this lever right here on each side. All right, so for anyone that is interested in every little detail and option on this car you can pause whenever you like I'm gonna film the sticker for you here we got a button close the trunk and then we got dual exhaust tips although they're pretty much quad exhaust tips because it's two on each side with one big tip around both of them all right, so we're going back up front here, and I forgot to mention this little air uh, intake, I guess you could call it here, which goes all the way through to uh, cool the brakes. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I'm sorry I'm not a complete expert on everything, but then it also goes in through here and comes back out here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop the hood and the lever is right here. As you can see, you have to pull it twice because that actually releases the latch that's usually underneath here somewhere. So you just lift up the hood and then we see the engine bay. All right, so we mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is a twin turbo V8, although it is called a dual twin scroll turbo for this BMW engine. It's 456 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. And this is what produces the massive amount of power along with the X-Drive system to propel this BMW M550 to, it's at least 3.5 seconds, um, 260. It's not 3.8 or 3.9 that uh, BMW is claiming officially. This thing is stupid fast. Now we're gonna jump inside and take a look at the interior, but I'll show you here as well. You have soft closing doors. 
So we're just gonna close it gently. All right, regarding the interior, we'll start with the back here. And I always like to do this comparison because I am six foot two. I've been driving the car, and if someone my size sits behind me, you'll see what type of room you have. It's actually not bad at all. This is really, really good. There's bigger sized sedans out there on the market that does not have the same amount of knee room that this 550 has. So it's very, very comfortable back here. Good headroom as well. This car is fully loaded from the factory. It's a $95,000 car, and the only thing that's missing from the spec sheet is the rear entertainment uh, system but it's very very comfortable we got heated seats uh, passengers have their own climate controls yeah, it's nice back here and then also for the passengers we have shades here which are manual they're on each side here and then we have a rear shade for the uh, rear window here but that is electric controlled from up front we'll open up here and take a look at this beautiful interior. This is the Mocha interior. And then we see here, special hello to uh, <laughs> yours truly. Very nice. Same with the door. Very nice. Soft to the touch leather materials. Bowers and Wilkins stereo. Leather wrapped steering wheel. I think we'll just jump inside. So it is obviously very, very nice in here. Um, these seats are extremely comfortable. Big headrests. We have a wood panel here, or wood panel trim. This center stack area here with the volume control buttons and climate and everything is typical BMW, although you can tell that it's revised buttons look a little nicer and just the, the layout in general looks just a little newer and fresher. I think we're just going to start it up here right away. Currently in comfort mode, we have the different driving modes right here. We put it in sport tachometer and the speedometer turns red now there's a lot to say about the tech features in this car I mean they are pretty infinite and uh, today's video we're not gonna have time to go completely in depth into the iDrive system and so on but this is the latest version of the iDrive system it is revised and it's just phenomenal. There's so many amazing features in this car. What's the weather like in uh, Los Angeles? Current weather at desired location. Just to show you a little bit. That might not be the first time you're seeing that, but uh, you can pretty much wave your finger at this car and it does what you want it to do. Point my two fingers. Settings come up here. This is all customized by the owner of the car, obviously. And here's a pretty cool thing. When you see these buttons here in regular cars, these are usually presets for radio stations. However, in the BMW 550i, you can save presets for pretty much anything you want. So if I click number three here, that's the equalizer that pops up. So everything is very, very customizable in this car. And then for the climate controls here, we, I mean, obviously we have cooled seats, heated seats, uh, fan speed here, and both passenger and driver can control their own fan speeds, which is pretty cool. Usually you have your own climate, but not your own fan speed. So very intuitive, very nice. Um, extremely impressed by this car. The nine and three grip on the steering wheel is, I mean, it is just good to the touch. We've got big paddle shifters here. 
heated steering wheel button. And I wish I could play the stereo system for you guys, but it never does justice in these reviews. All right, so we warped into a garage building here just to show you guys some of the lighting that you have inside of the car. So we have an ambient lighting strip that goes all across the vehicle here. It's very, very nice. And I'll show you guys real quick the head-up display as well. And then the speakers actually light up as well. All around on every door of the car and then we'll open it up here see the speaker right here and then the M projector light as well all right well now we're stuck in a lot of traffic so uh, I think that'll do it for this M 550i review I hope you guys enjoy the currently fastest 5 Series BMW that money can buy uh, I truly love this car. Uh, it blew me away. Uh, my neck hurts, uh, and that's not trying to sound clickbaity or anything. It, it truly throws you back in your seat. This thing is a performance machine. I, I can't imagine what the new M5 is going to be like because these performance numbers that this car has, they're truly understated. It is not 3.8 seconds because uh, I own a car that does it in 3.8, 3.9 seconds, and this is so much faster uh, from a standstill. So it's at least 3.5, the new M5, it's got to be under 3 seconds at least, 2.9 or something, because this is just stupid fast. It's amazing. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And if you're stopping by the channel for the first time through this video and you have not already, please subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.